So as you progress along your martial arts journey, there will inevitably be uh, divergent points where you change what, uh, you know, the ways you do things from how you learn them. And that is fine. Sometimes those will be very purposeful changes for very specific reasons, and other times they will be kind of inadvertent, almost unnoticed accidental changes due to um, just individual differences in movement and understanding, or even uh, just misunderstanding what the teacher was getting across. Doesn't necessarily mean that your inadvertent change doesn't work. Uh, not a judgment call, not a quality call. But what we have to be careful of um, when we are diverging from what was being taught, we need to understand where the difference is between just mushroom stamping something for the sake of, of ego and being different for different sake and actually making changes uh, based on uh, individual necessities. And that's a huge distinction, right? And we could just go on and on and on about this. Um, so I'm going to try to keep it short best as I can. If you've been around a while, you know I'm going to ramble. So here's the thing, right? When you go in and you start adjusting your practice to suit yourself, you start tailoring it to yourself. And that is a very important thing. That is essentially what styles are, by the way. Styles are not completely different in separate systems or sister lineages or anything like that. Uh, style is kind of how you do a thing, and that's a very personal uh, method and mode of, of practice. You can't really teach a style. You can mimic a style, and you have your own style, but beyond that, uh, it's, not a, it's not a new martial art, it's not a new system. Uh, but I digress. So whether you're, you're, you're creating a new style, per se, or you are um, you know, just personalizing uh, your practice to yourself. The thing that you have to understand is that any and all changes that are made need to have reasoning behind them. They, they need to have a, a functional purpose. Different for the sake of being different is never a good reason, like in anything, period. Um, different for the sake of being different is 100% egocentric. And I, and I get that. Look, I'm an egocentric guy and, and I love the fact that I do styles that are not terribly popular and that some people like to criticize because the fact is that not only do I get to, you know, have fun, uh, being like, well, they don't know what they're missing. Uh, but also when I get to talk to people about martial arts and go, oh, well, I practice thus and such, and they go, oh, I've never heard of that. What is that? Well, now it's story time, and I get to have some fun, and I get to tell stories. And, and you know, there's, a, there's an egocentric satisfaction there, and I get it. But we want to avoid, like, some of the stuff that we have seen in, say, Chinese martial arts, for example, where, you know, two rival schools will try to come up with a way to one-up each other just for the sake of being the top dog. And so you end up with funky postures and hand positions and, and, and finger twists and stuff. Oh, here's my, my new specialized finger strike and, you know, and we do this and, you know, we disrupt this meridian and, and blah. And you're just sitting there going, how is that any more effective than just conventional fighting? Uh, Right, it, it, it's, it is very aggravating to see uh, mushroom stamp changes, changes for the sake of uh, just putting your brand on it, right? It's like when a new manager comes into a business and then just starts changing all the operating procedures just because they're the new guy in charge and they want to leave their mark. It is such an egocentric thing to do and it doesn't really serve any purpose, right? Like, I don't want to be the guy that goes around saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, because that kind of starts uh, getting in the way of progress. But on the other side, if something is working, then you don't need to just arbitrarily change it. You only make changes when the, there is a functional reason to make a change. And that's either going to be, you know, individual differences, contextual differences, uh, or a, a, a new, uh, you know, new progress, new information in understanding uh, that, that leads you to believe that making an adjustment will yield better results. And that's really what you're looking for. So we want to make sure that we're just not making uh, random arbitrary changes, but that any changes that come about, whether inadvertent or purposeful, are coming about 
to actually serve you, your training partners, your students, whatever level of learning and teaching you're in, those changes need to actually serve a purpose and serve a function other than just distinguishing you from your neighbor. Because again, and I can't say this enough, different for the sake of being different is completely useless. It, it tells you nothing at all about the quality, the merit, the morals, the ethics. It tells you nothing beyond it is not the same. And not the same is not the same thing as better. So I've rambled on enough. I will talk to you guys later. Good journey. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, give the dog a bone. You can follow us on our other social media accounts. And if you really like us, you can head over to Amazon and buy a shirt. You can also go over to Gumroad and purchase some of our instructional courses. All of the links will be provided and also on our website. If you happen to be in the Phoenix area, we would love to meet you. Come drop in for a class, you know, even just to chat. And if you're looking for a new home, we would be happy to have you. So until next time, good journey.